gather around for the final time. We've got one talk left on this stage, and it's going to be a good one. I'm going to be having a chat with all four of the Hearthstone devs that we have here. They're going to be telling their stories, how they got into working at Blizzard, and how they got into working at Hearthstone. So uh, let's not waste any more time with that. First up, welcome to the stage, Dean. Good. Dean, why don't you very quickly tell me, who are you? What do you do? Uh, sure, I've been working at Blizzard now for about six and a half years. I started in QA, and now I'm on the final design team, which is essentially card design with a focus on card balance. Card balance, all right. He, he's your man. Yeah. All right, next up to the stage. Do, do we get a boo in the audience? <laughs> That's OK. Come on, guys. <laughs> next up is going to be Sale. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about who you are and what you do for the Hearthstone team. So I'm the lead server engineer on the Hearthstone team, and our responsibility is to make sure that the servers are up so that everyone can play all the time. Yeah. Right. Great. <laughs> all right, next up on the stage, give a round of applause to Mike. <laughs> Mike. Tell yes. us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Uh, my name is Mike Donay. I work on the card design team with Dean, specifically the final design team. There you go, final design team. Awesome. And finally, you all know this one, it's Ben. Greetings. Ben, did you see that sign over there? Look at that. <laughs> ben, tell us who you are and what you do for Hearthstone. Uh, my name is Ben Broad. I'm the game director on Hearthstone. I've been at Blizzard for 15 years, uh, and uh, I, I help other people succeed. Excellent. All right, round of applause for four of these guys. Um, we're actually going to do, we're going to do Dean first, so if you guys could just swap places. Sorry right. about that. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Get off the hot seat. Yeah, all right. Get on my chair. Way comfier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so as I said a moment ago, we're basically going to go through all four of these guys one at a time, and we're going to just dig a little bit deeper into uh, how they got to their current position and what it is that they do every day. So, uh, Dean, let's start off with um, how did you end up working at Blizzard? Well, uh, I was actually a restaurant consultant before I started at Blizzard, so like nothing to do with the game industry at all. But uh, I actually had a friend who worked at Blizzard in customer support. And uh, I guess at the time when you're playing games as a kid, it, did, I don't think it, it didn't occur to me at least that like, I knew games existed, and obviously people that make games exist, but it didn't occur to me that's like, that's a, that was like a job that you could have. Uh, but my friend sort of like got me into it and got me to apply, I ended up working in QA, which is like the, was a very entry-level position for me. And uh, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do at the time when I was in QA, but uh, I eventually, I got there by, you know, I, I played a bunch of World of Warcraft and I knew a lot of the game systems and I was really passionate about the game and, you know, I had had a job before and they sort of just gave me an opportunity to, you know, to start on the team with like a six month temporary assignment and then after six months of doing a pretty good job, I started on the team full time. Great. And, and when was that, that you started full time? Uh, 2010, I think. It was the 2010. end of 2010, yeah. Wow, that's, that's quite a long time you've been with Blizzard. Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like that long, but yeah, it's been a while now. And what prompted the move into Hearthstone? Uh, I knew I wanted to be in game design. Uh, at Blizzard, we have this thing called Slash Learn, which is essentially uh, a bunch of videos from people that work on various teams, usually people that work in like the like higher up level positions that give uh, these talks on you know, what they do and how they do it and you know, how to do a good job and what Blizzard is really about. And there's a bunch of people that give these talks, but one of those guys was Jeff Kaplan uh, and Rob Pardo and, and a bunch of like really old school game designers at Blizzard. And I knew from listening to those that you know that was what I wanted to do. Uh, so you know I went home. I did a lot of like game design stuff in my free time, and then I also uh, you know I played a bunch of Hearthstone. So I ended up you know talking with Mike actually, who was like the first guy I talked to really on the Hearthstone team because I was playing you know a, a ton at the time. And I ended up playtesting with Mike a bunch. And then, you know, after, I don't know how long it was, like nine months of playtesting or whatever, uh, I ended up with a job on the Hearthstone team. So how long have you been on the Hearthstone team now? Mm -hmm. About three and a half years now. So right oh, before, you know, whenever around the launch of Naxxramas was. So maybe like three years, a little, little wow. longer than that. That's, that's amazing. 
Um, what, what is your favorite thing about being on the Hearthstone team compared to uh, any other position you've had at Blizzard? Uh, the Hearthstone team specifically is really close. You know, we started you know, very, very small. Uh, when I started on the team, there was you know, something like 25 people. And when yeah. Ben started on the team, there was probably, what, like three or something like that. So uh, everyone is very close. And even though the team now is you know, 75, 80 people, like, everyone is still very close. Like, you know, everyone on the design team, we're talking to art and engineering and production you know, basically all the time. Uh, the vibe is really cool. And I think that really comes from the top down. When I started, uh, Eric Dodds was the game director. And uh, Jason Chase was the production director. And those guys, I think, sort of set the vibe of the whole Hearthstone team. It's like they're just really nice, good people. So I, I think it's really easy for like the rest of the team just turns into like, you know, nice, good people when the people at the top are like that. So I think that really set the tone. And, you know, now, you know, the people that we have are, are still sort of the same. Awesome. That's, that's really great to hear. Um, all right. Here's a big question for you. OK. What is your greatest in-game achievement? Oh, my greatest in-game achievement, uh, I guess it's uh, rank one legend. Is rank my... <laughs> one legend over here. Come on, round of applause. How many of you have hit rank one legend? Come on. Uh, it's actually a sort, of, it's sort of a funny story that comes along with that. Is, uh, so when uh, Hearthstone first came out, I, I wasn't really even into card games at all. Uh, but my roommate was really into CCGs. And I'm really competitive, and we played against each other a lot. And he beat me like crazy. And you know, I, I was one of the people that like, lost in the tutorial against Ill Illidan when you know, Hearthstone first came out. Uh, but then I played a ton, and I practiced a lot. And I was finally beating my roommate. And then the, the rank system came out. And I played a bunch, and I got to Legend, and I didn't really know what that means. And there's like a number there. It's like one. I was like, what does that mean? Is that I'm like League One? Or, <laughs> well, it's like, no, yeah, you're, you're the one number legend. one player in North what it America. Meant. <laughs> well, like no one really did it at the time, right? Like, so uh, anyway, so I was number one, and then later on, like that night, I get like a friend request from somebody that I've never, you know, heard of before, uh, and I look at their name on my friends list, and it, now it says Rank One Legend, and then I look at mine, and it says Rank Two, and I was like. Uh, I, I, congratulations on rank one. Like, how did you, like, how did you get my email to add me? And he's like, oh, you know, my, my name's Mike Dene. I got your email from uh, the, you know, the Hearthstone fans mailing list internally. And it was Mike who, had, you know, he took my rank one and then, you know, added me as a friend and we started talking. And that's how uh, Mike and I met in the first place, was like that's taking incredible. rank one back and forth from each other. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Well, that is a very nice achievement. I wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting that. So that's really good. Um, all right, next question, equally big one. What is your favorite card from the last year of Hearthstone, the year of the Mammoth? I actually thought about this one a lot. I, I really liked a lot of the Death Knight cards, and I liked a lot of the quests, and that they represent you know, a lot of the, like, the really big stuff, I think, that we did in the last year in terms of mechanics. I think my favorite card, though, is Defile. Uh, for, for a bunch of reasons. It's fun to play, but like, even as a designer, when you have something that's really simple and, and easy to use, and you know, it does one damage to everything, and you, know, you can find a variety of ways to, to make that an interesting card. And sometimes you know, you'll clear one round of things, then you'll clear a second round of things, and it makes you feel pretty smart. And then there's you know, the super high complexity ones where you're doing a bunch of trading, and then Defile's going off seven times. So it's really, really easy to use, but at the same time has like a ton of depth for you know, like the most hardcore players. So like when we're making cards, that's really sort of what we're striving for, is like the simple, easy to understand cards that have a ton of depth. So it's really like the, exactly the kind of card that we try to make. Defile is a very awesome card. I completely agree. Yeah. Um, do you have any last words you'd like to say about, about the whole event, about the Hearthstone World Championship? Sure. I, I think the venue is like the most impressive thing to me. Uh, and being in Amsterdam itself, like I don't really do a lot of traveling. So like Amsterdam is you know, one of the coolest places I've ever been. And uh, I've been to a bunch of different esports events, so like really giant auditoriums and stadiums. And this particular place, I think, feels like where the Hearthstone Championship should be yeah. uh, more than any other place I could imagine. I don't know how you know, they found this place, but <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just really looking forward to the finals. Uh, I'm rooting for Frozen. Frozen? So, yeah. Frozen? <laughs> Frozen? Frozen? Yeah, but, but that's it. I'm just looking forward to the final. Great. Everyone give it up for Dean. <laughs> All right. So you're going to be up next if you guys like to stop places. Oh, sure. <clears throat> So the man in charge of making sure that you get to play Hearthstone 24-7. Firstly, I try. <laughs> you're trying to. Firstly, tell us how you got there. So uh, for those of you who play on desktop, 
uh, when you run the Blizzard app, you know, we have uh, little things that scroll by, like news or patch notes or whatever. Every once in a while, you'll see a, a little square with uh, two dwarves, and they're drinking root beer or something. Um, and it says, the Hearthstone team is hiring. Ah, okay. So I clicked on that link back during uh, the early stages of open beta and thinking, ah, whatever, I'll, I'll click on the link, I'll submit my resume, see what happens, you know. Didn't really think a whole lot about it. But then, uh, like a couple days after submitting my resume, I got a contact from Blizzard. They were saying, hey, the team is uh, interested in talking to you about, you know, some positions that we have available. And from there, it was just this really strange whirlwind of events. And uh, all of a sudden, I found myself in Southern California. So what were the credentials that you had in order to, to come forward for this job? Like, what, what was your experience? So I come from a more traditional tech background. Okay. So I worked for IBM Labs for 14 years. Um, and so a lot of the work that I was doing there, obviously, was applicable to kind of general purpose server programming. Um, and obviously, our game, Hearthstone, is a server authoritative game, which basically means that all the real logic that occurs in the game occurs on the server side. Yep. And so the client is there to give you a visualization of what's going on in the game, but the actual logic is all on the server. And so, you know, the game and the team had a need for that sort of experience. And so, I mean, I've been, I've been doing that for, you know, even before IBM, I've been doing that for like 19 years. And so, wow. you, know, it was a, you know, I had a fair bit of experience coming in. Wow, uh, makes a lot of sense. Um, so why, why video games? Like, what, what is it that actually made you want to work for Hearthstone? So one of the great things about coming into work every day is that I know that when I come into work, the people I'm working with are super passionate about what they do. Like, they want to get up in the morning, come to work, and they want to work with you, and they want to make these amazing things. And it is hard to replicate that level of passion um, if the people are not passionate about the th things they do, right. right? And so obviously for me, I've been playing games all my life. Um, I started back in the Commodore 64 TI-99 days, so that's way back when. And I mean, I've been, I've been playing games all my life. And the people on the team have also been playing games all their lives. And you know, we have some different perspectives on you know, what makes a good game, what is fun. But ultimately, I know that they have the same passion for this that I do. And, you know, it makes it a real joy to come into work every day. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's got to be one of the best things about the job, I guess, for all of you. Like, yeah, absolutely. Just a shared love of video games and a shared love of Hearthstone. Yeah. One of the things I like to say is that, I mean, obviously, you know, we've got design team represented and we've got engineering and kind of the other two main disciplines we have are art and production. And each of the disciplines and every person on the team wants what is best for Hearthstone. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we each want the same specific thing. But we all want overall what is best for Hearthstone. And so then, you know, when we get into a meeting and we're discussing, you know, what are the things that we're gonna work on, what are the things that we're gonna do next, there are gonna be disagreements, but you know that ultimately everyone in that room wants what is best for Hearthstone. And so that's kind of the point at which, you know, we can have good discussions. Yeah, sure. All right, you know this question's coming. And uh, if the answer isn't rank one legend, then uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be quite disappointed. But say, what is your greatest in-game achievement in Hearthstone? So I have hit legend. And I believe maybe there's someone up here that hasn't. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, it's not me. <laughs> but I, I hit legend back in the, uh, what is it? Uh, people used to call it uh, the summer of mid-range shaman. Uh, OK. So I played a lot of shaman that, that season. And I hit re legend, like rank 1,000 something something, probably. But uh, it was still legend. So yeah. I got my card back. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, final question. Favorite card in the Year of the Mammoth? So my favorite card has more to do with the flavor text. Okay. Um, 
there's a card called Plated Beetle um, in Cobalts and Catacombs. And the reason I love that card, and specifically I love the flavor text for that card, is you know, if any of you have ever run a tabletop role-playing game campaign, you know that players do ridiculous things sometimes because you know, it's an open-ended game, right? So the fact that Plated Beetle has a death rattle of game three armor doesn't really make sense from a gameplay point of view, but if you haven't read the flavor text for that card, go read it. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> All right, awesome. I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, any last words about the event in general? I think it's just been awesome to be here. Like Dean said, this is an amazing venue, and it's great to you know, talk with uh, people who have come. And some of, some of the people here that I've met have come from really far away. And so it's not just you know, locals to this area, and it's just a really great atmosphere. And thank you very much, everyone, for coming. Give it up for Sao Yun. All right. Next up is going to be Mike Dunay. So, oh, uh, oh, Mike Dunay. Yeah. Mike Dunay. <laughs> so Mike, firstly, tell me how long you've been with Blizzard and how you got there. I've been with Blizzard just over four years. How did I get there? Well, it's a long story. Should I start at like when I was a wee lad or should I be like... <laughs> you, can, you can start when you were born if you like. We've got time, right? All right, all right. So I was nine years old, and my dad was kind of a nerd, and his father before him. <laughs> and his engineering buddies came home to play D&D. &D. Uh, and I was like, oh, what are you guys doing? What are you playing over there? He's like, oh, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> uh, but eventually I would take the Dungeons and Dragons books and I would read them. And I was like, ooh, this looks cool. Uh, so I started playing games. And as I grew up, I played more and more games, and I would design my own games, made a whole bunch of role-playing games that no one ever saw. And I started making card games and playing games. And when I got to uh, university, my, one of my friends was like, oh, you should play this game, this card game. It's awesome. And I'm like, no, no, I'm too busy. And I didn't hear from him for like a year. I never saw him. A year later, he shows up. <laughs> He's like, no, you really should play this game. <laughs> It was like 1994. Uh, it was a really good card game. I played it uh, a whole bunch. And uh, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> I've completely forgotten. I, I've got to be honest. I don't know. Just, just carry on. It's a good story. It's a good story. All right. All right. Um, How did you get to Blizzard? I played... Oh. <laughs> you probably just skip I played chunk, professional but... magic. I got hired uh, to work at Wizards of the Coast. Uh, I got hired to work on the WoW TCG. Uh, I got hired to work on Hearthstone. <laughs> Very good. All right, all right. Sorry to cut the story short there. Yeah. <laughs> Jumped ahead. <laughs> Next up, but no, no, no okay. Um, right, okay, so what is your favorite thing about working on the Hearthstone dev team? Mm, uh, I really like how I can sleep in and no one cares. <laughs> it's really nice. Um, also, yeah, everyone's really passionate. <laughs> 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 um, mostly, like, I love playing Hearthstone. I love thinking about Hearthstone and talking about Hearthstone. People, like, listen to me. <laughs> really I'm sweet. definitely enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and is there, any, is there any philosophy that you guys have? I don't know if I want to ask this question. Yeah, okay, but... Is there any philosophy that you all have on the Hearthstone dev team? that you particularly like, like a way you guys live, a way you guys work together that really speaks to you? One of the Go ahead. Yeah, one, one of the things I really appreciate about our team is uh, we have this philosophy that um, everyone's a designer. And so what that means is that just because you're not a designer by title doesn't mean that the ideas that you have for the game are any less valid. And so lots of interesting ideas have actually come from other parts of the team and have been things that we've eventually implemented and put into the game. And so the fact that this sort of feedback is welcome from the entire team is you know, a really huge plus and also helps with 
making sure everyone really buys in to the long-term success of the game. Right, that's great. Yeah, every Thursday we do these play tests with the whole Hearthstone team, and they get to see either like some tavern brawl we're play testing, or the new cards for the expansion that's in the future, or some you know weird revamp mechanical change, and they all send feedback after that, and we all look at it and talk about it. Um, in addition to that, when we are designing a new expansion, we'll often get the team together and we'll be like, hey, we're going to make this uh, next expansion. It's going to be about the mean streets of gadgets and send us your ideas. And we all got together and we brainstormed and we wrote stuff on boards and sticky notes and things like that. And someone wrote Getaway Kodo, right? And that's like, I don't know. We didn't know at the time what Getaway Kodo was, but it was, it was definitely going to be in a set. Just yeah. like, an, it's perfect, right? So later we like designed a card around it and it was really cool. Great, great. Okay, I think I know the answer to this one, but greatest in-game achievement. In-game achievement. Um, I once opened a golden legendary and a normal legendary in the same booster pack. <laughs> I, think, I think I actually topped Dean's. So, uh, <laughs> congratulations. Yes. Oh, yeah, I took away Dean's le rank one legend. <laughs> and then a e friend requested him right after when he was two and I was one. That yeah. was great. I mean, that's what I was expecting to yeah, hear. But too. the pack thing's cool, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, give it up one more time. Oh, no, sorry, wait, card. 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 We card. can't forget this one. Oh. Favorite card. Favorite card. In the Year of the Mammoth. Uh, the Year of the Mammoth is when we introduce quests, which is a new card type, super cool card type. It like shows your progression. Your opponent can see like you're making progress. It gives you these ideas how to build your deck. Um, the priest one was my personal favorite, even though it's only seen like some play. I really like being able to set your health total to 40 yeah. and fully heal you. It's like really cool reward. You get the 8-8 eight, eight taunt also. Um, and I think Death Rattle Priest is a natural, especially with Nazoth, you know, being around to help it out. I think it's uh, really cool. Just the quests in general are my favorite. Awesome. And um, final words about the Hearthstone World Championship. I'm really excited. I get booster packs every time Surrender wins a match, so oh. cheering for him. Support for Surrender, all right. <laughs> but good luck to everybody out there, and I hope you guys watch it. It'll be, it'll be starting around 3.30 or 4. Give it up for Mike Donay. All right. The final speaker we have today. Ben Broad. Ben, Greetings. you said you've been with Hearthstone, with, sorry, with Blizzard for 15 years, is that 15 right? 15 years, yeah. 15 years, and how, how did you get there? How did you start? Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. So uh, I told a story at BlizzCon this year. If you have the virtual ticket or YouTube or something, you could probably watch it. But I told a story of how I uh, step danced my way into college, and happened, step dancing is like, you know, whacking yourself and it's a, it's a beautiful dance. Uh, and I, I got into college, happened to get into UCI, which is University of California at Irvine. And Irvine, at the time, UCI, this the campus, Blizzard, Blizzard's offices were on campus. I don't know how they arranged that. It, does, it, was like a, it was like a school, but Blizzard's offices were at school. And I went to that school randomly. And so I, uh, a friend of mine got a job at working night crew at Blizzard on the war, War Three expansion, Warcraft Three: The Frozen Throne, and I didn't even know that was a, a thing you could do. I didn't know that was a job you could have, nor that it was like two blocks from where I live. Uh, and so I ended up getting a job uh, doing that, and that's how I got into Blizzard. I, he he uh, it was night crew, and they needed food, so he used to. I I worked at a pizza place. Everyone knows the story now, but I, I used to deliver pizzas to the night crew so I could get you know, schmooze with those guys a little bit, uh, and get in get in with the with the people, and that's when I got the job. Awesome. Um, and, and now, obviously, you've been with Hearthstone right since its inception. Yeah, we started, um, so I started working on the game in like mid-2008. So uh, at the time, you know, we had, we had a, 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 a game called the World of Warcraft Trading Card Game. Yeah. And we were working on an online version of that. And we, we discovered some things in that process, which is that there are things about like, the translation from physical to digital that were very challenging for us. And, and some of the, uh, those rules we just felt like this, this is not going to be the most fun game we can make digitally. We reset everything and started working on what eventually became Hearthstone. But I was originally on that, that first project, which was that, that game, and it slowly changed over time into Hearthstone. 
10 years ago. Can you Ten believe that? 10 years ago. Yeah, crazy. Absolutely yeah. insane. And, and so <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about what your sort of day-to-day -day life is. What are your responsibilities? Sure. What do, what do, uh, well, one of the things I do is help coordinate between the different teams. So we have uh, teams like our team that does all the crazy cinematics for, um, you know, like the Hearth and Home cinematic and also the, the expansion release videos that we do. So we meet with them quite a bit. Uh, we meet with uh, teams like um, our PR team and our community team and uh, different groups around the organization. Hearthstone, like we have a, our development team, which is like 80 people, but there are a ton of teams across the organization that help make Hearthstone really awesome. And uh, we meet with them and just kind of get everyone on the same page because it, you know, people on the design team are coming up with incredible cool set ideas, but then a lot of people have to kind of mobilize behind a cool vision and, and make a lot of other cool stuff, write stories, write blog posts, and sharing that vision across the company is one of the things I do. Great. So you worked for the World of Warcraft trading card game before, but why, why did you want to do that in the first place? Have you always had a love of card games? Yeah, I, I, played, right. I, I, mean, I played a ton of card games. I played uh, Magic and Wyvern and uh, uh, Netrunner and uh, Overpower. I mean, the, I tried to list all the games I played out once, and it just was, it went on and on and on and on. Really? I, I mean, I've loved card games forever. I'm, I'm super into the. And this is one of the things that, like, Blizzard as a company does really well, is when we have, like, a passion of ours, right? Like, we've done this over and over again with game genres that we really love, is we uh, make the Blizzard version. We, we take it in-house. We, we bring something that has a ton of fun when you get really into it. We make it really accessible and bring it to a huge number of players. And that was basically what Hearthstone is, right? It's the super big fun of card games, but accessible to everybody. Yeah. What, what, and what is your favorite thing about being on the Hearthstone team? Uh, I mean, I'm stealing everyone else's answer, but it's the, the team. The team's incredible. It's, it's the best team uh, of all time. It's, it's so fun to spend every day with the people on the team and to, like uh, learn from the people on the team and, and just get to express ourselves and make really fun content for a huge number of people. It's incredible. I mean, we can tell from the outside that it's a great team because it comes across in a great game, right? <laughs> so um, finally, you know this is coming. I hope you've prepared a good answer. Greatest in game achievement. Yeah, so I did hit legend. I don't know what you were implying. Uh, okay. I have been there. <laughs> I'll whip my card back out right now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, my greatest in-game achievement, I beat a lot of people with two my side this month. Uh, <laughs> and it just makes, it feels nice. good, nice. right? After all the, yeah. uh, the shenanigans I read online, that yeah, this is yeah. the worst card ever. It's, it feels very validating to win games with that card, so that's probably my greatest in-game achievement. Winning <laughs> games with two my side, okay. <laughs> Awesome. And favorite card of the Year of the Mammoth is? I was going to say to my side, yeah. but actually I think it's, I think it's uh, Deathstalker Rexar. I really love yeah. Deathstalker Rexar. I, I played uh, some, some of the decks I've been playing most since uh, Knights of the Frozen Throne and Cobalt's Catacomb are uh, Death, uh, Death Rattle Hunter. I've been playing Meat Wagons and uh, uh, Death, uh, Devil Sore Eggs and uh, uh, basically the Hunter deck recipe from Knights of the Frozen Throne. Ah, a right. bit. And then uh, uh, the To My Side Hunter. And Deathstalker Rexar goes with both those decks. It's basically why I play those decks, is to smash beasts together and uh, do horrible things to my opponent. Awesome. And lastly, what can you say about this incredible event? It's bonkers. Is it bonkers here? It's bonkers. Yeah. And, and the games have been insane. Like, I, it, it's been so fun to watch these matches. These players are super incredible. It's, I, I can't wait for the finals. Awesome. Who, who are you rooting for to win? I, 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 it makes me very uncomfortable to say it, but I... I I actually kind of excited about Tom. He's uh, a yeah. repeat from the first world championship, if I'm not mistaken. So excited to see him back and doing incredibly well this year. That's awesome. All right. Give it up one more time for Ben Brode. Good job, good job. And that is just about us wrapped up here on the Between Two Halves stage. There will be a meet and greet with I think all of the eliminated competitors from the tournament. Wow. So stick around if you like to come, meet them, get their signatures and some photos. Uh, but go ahead and watch the semifinals and the finals. It's going to be a big one. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye. How does it feel to?